Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj. I'm a DM Cardiology Fellow at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to review this, uh, the costliest Littmann stethoscope that is there, the most advanced Littmann stethoscope, which is the Littmann Core Digital Stethoscope. And uh, I'm going to compare it with the next best that's there, the Littmann uh, Master Cardiology Stethoscope. Well, I have already previously uh, published a video on which stethoscope to choose out of so many Littmanns available there. But this one, I'm specifically uh, talking about this most advanced Littmann that we have, okay? Now, um, uh, the first thing is first, you know, from their looks and from their outward appearances. Now, uh, both actually look good, both look stylish. Um, well, if you just talk about the diaphragm and this uh, this chest piece, I, I personally like the uh, master cardiology one. It sort of uh, gives me this grip. I usually hold it like this, right? So I prefer that. Uh, this is the uh, core digital one. It has the pediatric diaphragm on one side. It has the adult diaphragm on the other side. Now, what you notice is that this extra thing on its stem, right? This is what does that digital processing. This is what amplifies, this is what performs that noise cancellation that I'm going to talk about. And then rest of the things, their tubings and all, they're the same. This is the black plated version, this is the plain, uh, plain version. So uh, from their looks, they're not very different other than the fact that this one has this digital processing unit. And second, in terms of weight, yes, probably because of this uh, added weight, uh, the core digital one feels a little bulkier, it's a little heavier when you use it, okay? Otherwise, uh, in terms of their feel, both are very comfortable, though this is a little heavier one, okay? Now, specifically, if I talk about this stethoscope, um, what are the advantages that it offers over the Littmann cardiology, the uh, master cardiology stethoscope? It all centers on this piece that is over here. Now, look, it has a button that we use to turn on and turn off the digital mode. So as soon as I turn it on, the, the light glows up, okay? And then there are these, uh, just like your AirPods, you have uh, the uh, plus volume and minus volume buttons. And then there's this uh, USB, uh, micro USB for charging this device and each charge can last uh, this um, device for up to eight hours. Okay, now uh, what are the advantages of this stethoscope? Look, um, it is supposed to offer up to 40 times digital enhancement or it, it intensifies the sound up to 40 times and you can increase and decrease the intensity using these buttons plus and minus. What that means is that even the subtle sounds, say for example, the mid-diastolic murmur of mitral stenosis, low intensity sounds, low frequency sounds, even they are very well appreciated. Sounds like third heart sound, fourth heart sound, very low frequency sounds, they're easily appreciated using this, okay? And what it also means is that in a noisy environment, which means uh, places like emergency department or places like OPD where you have so much of ambient noise, this in addition to the amplification of sound, it offers noise cancellation. So it's very much like AirPods Pro version, right? It offers noise cancellation. So even in noisy environments of, of emergency rooms or um, the outpatients, you can easily auscultate all the relevant clinical findings, right? So those are the major advantages. And then one more advantage is that it comes with an, with an app that you can use on your phone known as the Echo. That's the name of that software. And what it does, it, it gives sort of phonocardiograms. You're auscultating the patient and simultaneously a graph in the form of a phonocardiogram is recorded on your mobile phone. And even it can use its artificial intelligence to tell you the interpretation. So it may tell you that there is no murmur in this patient, normal, everything is normal, or it can detect an injection systolic murmur and so forth, right? So the amplification, the noise cancellation, and that echo software that it uses to give you phonocardiograms, they are the added advantage of the stethoscope. And uh, what are the downsides? I've told you a little bit heavier um, than the uh, other uh, Littmann cardiology one. And the other, dis it's of course more costly, right? So the Littmann uh, master cardiology costs around you 18 to 20,000, but this costs you somewhere 28 to 30,000 rupees, right? 
So now, which one should now sh should an MB like, does an MBBS student need to buy this? Obviously not. Why should you waste thirty thousand bucks on this? The best is Classic Two, right? Now for MBBS students, now someone who is an internal medicine resident or someone who is joining cardiology or a critical care medicine DM or pulmonology DM who is interested in more advanced auscultation, this is definitely superior and it's worth actually, it's, that, it's worth to spend that extra 10,000 um, uh, rupees on this on and, and buy this one, right. And um, now, for those of you who are an MBBS or for those of you who are just um, who, who don't want to purchase this, let me tell you, other Littmann stethoscopes will allow you to make complete diagnosis because the diagnosis is made not just by the devices, it's by your understanding. See, if you don't know how to auscultate for the S3 or if, if you don't know how to auscultate for the mid dash like rumble of mitral stenosis, it doesn't matter whether you use this stethoscope or you use any other stethoscope, you won't be able to listen, right? And um, I also need to tell you guys that these diaphragms that come with all of these uh, current generation Littmann stethoscope, these are tunable diaphragms. What that means, see, there is no bell on this Littmann cardiology stethoscope, right? But there, uh, the, the diaphragm is tunable on both of them, the diaphragm is tunable, which means it, it switches from low frequency to high frequency modes with your pressure. With lighter pressure, it will give you low frequency sounds. And if you increase the pressure, it will give you high frequency sounds. Which means, if you auscultate a patient of mitral stenosis and, and at the same time apply firm pressure using this, you won't be able to listen to the mid diastolic murmur. Why? Because it has filtered out that low frequency sound for you if you apply too much of pressure. So the trick lies that if you want to listen to low frequency sounds, say S3 or S4 or mid diastolic murmur or other low frequency sounds, you need to apply the lightest possible pressure while auscultation. And if you want to selectively listen for high frequency sounds, you need to apply firm pressure. So I hope you like the comparison of um, the most advanced Litman and uh, the other best one, that's the, uh, the Master Cardiology Stethoscope. Thanks for watching.